Does the new DJI Vita crash itself? Now, this is a question that we're never usually asking about DJI drones. I mean, it goes without saying, if you buy a DJI drone, you never expect it to just fall out of the sky. I mean, unless there's some external factor like a bird or you fly into a tree, obviously that could bring it down. But just on its own from your flying, that just doesn't seem right. But unfortunately, that's exactly what I've seen in an alarming amount of videos online recently. So I wanted to test this out for myself because I'm regularly flying over large bodies of water or places where if the drone goes down, not only is it dangerous, but I'll never get it back again. So I decided to take both of my drones out. I'm gonna take them to a place where it's nice and soft and if they do crash themselves it's not going to damage them entirely but we're going to see if we can replicate this on both of these guys and see if it's an actual problem and if it's something we need to be wary of as a dji avata user so that's what we're going to find out today so there's a field over there, and that's where we're gonna be testing the Avata. Right, so we have both of our Avatas, They're obviously exactly the same. Don't know if I'll fly both, but we'll see how it goes. And we got our goggles and our battery. Oh, that seems to have fallen off. If anyone knows where to get a comfier version of this, please let me know because this one is not very comfortable. So we're ready to go now and I think you all know by now that the Avata does this when you do a hard yaw in manual mode. So that's just what I'm going to try it and I'm going to see if I can replicate it. Give me a little test fight, a little yaw. Oh, it got a bit of wobble but nothing fell. Oh, bit of a stall there. There's so many people around here. It's really annoying that the Avata is so loud. DJI, please can you make quiet drones because people don't like the noise. <laughs> Ooh, that was a big wobble, but nothing catastrophic. Okay, so that was my first flight. I mean, I was really tossing the thing around as much as I could and nothing happened. So, does it need to be windy? I don't know. I'm gonna watch a couple of the videos now and just double check that I'm doing it properly, properly. <laughs> and then I guess we'll try again once it's a bit clearer. I just watched a couple of videos and it seems like it actually doesn't happen when people are too aggressive, but rather like a normal maneuver, which is even more concerning. But let me give it another try. I really hope I can replicate this. Otherwise this video is gonna be really boring. <laughs> Okay, let's give it a go. Just keep it going. Guys, it's really not wanting to crash. I promise I'm trying my best here. Yeah. Let's go fast forward. Okay, there was a lot of wobble there, but no crash. Oh, there's a dog. There's a dog. There's a Frenchie. Oh, there's another dog. Okay, I think I'm gonna land it. You know what, the drone's probably waiting for me to be over the ocean at the worst possible time for it to actually do this for me. Of course it's not going to do it when I want it to. But let's give it another go, maybe we can get it to do it this time. Okay, so I kind of got it a bit earlier where you need to be going a specific speed like that. And then turn. And it kind of does like a little tumble. That's what I'm trying to recreate here. Okay, there, it kind of did it, but I mean, that wasn't... It could be that... Oh, okay, there. Okay. Yeah, that did it. Okay, so here's the drone. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's very wet. So we got the drone back here. It seems all fine. Um, it's really chopped up some grass, which is quite funny, but I think it's all functional and fine. That was very interesting. I am quite excited to go back and look at the footage because 
it's not what I expected and I think I might have another take on this that you might be interested to hear. I want to see if I can get a bit more sample footage to properly analyze it. But yeah, I think it'll fly again. Let's see. I think I know what happened, but there we kind of did it. Okay, we kind of did it there, but you see I caught it. I kind of anticipated it, so, oh, that saved it. <laughs> okay, so that was it again. I mean, I think I know exactly what's happening here. Oh, there we go again. There we go again. Okay, that time I couldn't save it. Right, so let's go look at this footage and see what's going on. So I've taken quite a lot of time to look through the footage now and figure out exactly what's happening and I'm going to explain it as best as I can. So basically you've got the drone here and it's got a specific amount of mass. And when you're flying this forward at a certain speed, you've got a fairly large amount of momentum. Now, when you turn to the left here, this momentum means that the drone still wants to move in that direction. But you have quite a few forces acting on the drone at this point. The main one to consider here is the drag force. And because of the ducts, your drag force is actually higher at the bottom of the drone than it is at the top. And because your center of gravity is above that force, the natural tendency of the drone is to want to flip over like this or like this or however. And you can see that exact thing happening in the footage. Now you can think of this as a car as well. If you have a car driving along the ground and you make a really sharp turn to the left, the car's natural tendency is also to flip over on its side because its center of gravity is above the main force acting on the, on the car in this direction, which is the friction on the tires on the road. Now, the problem is because the drone's in manual mode, when it flips over like this, it still thinks that the pilot wants the drone to be in that direction and it's gonna zoom into the ground. It's not gonna ride itself and be ready to go again. Now you can see I did anticipate it quite a few times and when it flips over like that I corrected it right away and most of the time I could avoid a crash unless it was way too close to the ground. But that's not something that someone who doesn't have a lot of experience flying FPV or doesn't actually know what's happening is going to be able to do and that's why people have been crashing because of this. So if you watch the footage back really slowly frame by frame you can see the exact moment where the motors fail to provide enough power to hold the drone flat like this. You will see that on almost all occasions, I was able to quickly counteract this and level the drone out, but this isn't something you're always gonna be able to do. Now, if you're wondering why this happens with the Avata and not other drones, there's a few reasons, but the main ones are that, firstly, it has those ducts which are providing extra drag on the drone. And then secondly, the center of gravity on it is pretty high. If you look at most other FPV drones or DJI drones, the center of gravity is generally a lot lower, which is gonna make sure this doesn't happen. Now, if this is a fatal flaw of the Avata or not, I don't really think it is because initially when I started seeing the footage taken with the Avata, I was like, wow, that's done with a Cinewoop. That's pretty crazy. But a Cinewoop does have its limitations and that's why we do have different types of drones. So if you fly the Avata in a more cinematic and smooth way in not terrible conditions, I do think this is pretty unlikely to happen. And I do think it is something you can learn to avoid. Now, I hope that gives you a better understanding of why this is happening and hopefully how you can avoid it yourself. Now that is the main question, how do you avoid this? And unfortunately, the only surefire way to avoid it would be to not fly in manual mode, which is not really a solution. So what I would recommend is actually taking the drone up in manual mode to quite a high altitude, trying this maneuver, trying to get it to do it for you so that you can either practice pressing the pause button to get it to recenter itself or practice being able to get out of this maneuver safely without crashing. Until DJI comes up with a firmware update which could maybe fix this, it's not guaranteed. That's my best solution for the problem, unfortunately. But yeah, that's just how it is sometimes. FPV is different to normal drones and you can have different problems. Now I did make another video where I took the Avata apart and I took the air unit off it and put it on a Cine lifter. So if you wanna check that out, you can click the video here and I'll see you in the next one.